Hi guys, it's your girl Kill Chemist. Um, sitting here this morning, finishing up, getting ready for work, and um, I got a inbox message from Dante86 here on YouTube. Hey Dante, it's good to hear from you. I know you're busy working and living and doing all kinds of things, um, but he mentioned to me that some people had asked him about Lock Appreciation Day 2013. Um, I hadn't even mentioned it here on my channel. No one has really asked me about it. I think maybe like toward the end of last year, but nobody this year has even mentioned it. So I hadn't mentioned it. Um, but we had it in 2011, we had it in 2012, and now it's 2013. If you're not familiar with what Lock Appreciation Day is, I'll just briefly tell you it was a concept that I came up with back in 2011. Um, they were having these natural, natural Afro Day and all these other things for like loose natural hair and that kind of thing. And I thought... At that point, you know, I'm locked and I really can't necessarily relate to wearing my afro on natural afro day. Um, wouldn't it be nice to have a day for lock wearers? Sometimes I felt like in the natural hair community, and I'm not trying to cause division as I've been accused of, but sometimes in the natural hair community, um, you know, when people tend to think natural hair, sometimes they think loose, curly, afro, um, and sometimes locks are like, and you know, locks are set aside. And so I thought it would be a great time to celebrate locked hair um, and all its diverse, uh, you know, presentations of, of locked hair, whether it be freeform, sister lock, traditional lock, braid lock, um, you know, just all of the many facets of locked hair because we're not all the same. Yes, it's locked, but we're not all the same. We're very different. And also just to educate people about lock wears and the things that we're able to do with our hair. Yes, we wash our hair. Um, and that, no, we don't all do this or do that. You know, just about who we are and why we choose this journey that some people choose it just to wear their hair that way and other people's it's a spiritual thing. I just wanted to explore all of the many uh, facets of locked hair and locked wearers and I thought it would be a great day to celebrate not only for those of us who choose to wear our hair this way but for those who, who love the style or who admire the style or who you know whatever support lock wearers. So I just thought it was a cool concept and in 2011 a lot of people chimed in and said yes it's a great idea and so we we went and, and had this undertaking of doing lock appreciation day. Um, my vision for the day was just a day where anyone no matter where you were in the world you could celebrate it um, whether you decided to do a meetup in your area or you know whatever I just wanted it to be something that everyone could be a part of and I wanted it to grow and grow. So in 2011, it, uh, we voted on a date, it ended up being the fourth Saturday of June, which was June 25th that year. And um, we decided we were going to do a collaboration video, which Dante86, I still to this day um, will forever be in his debt, took the undertaking of editing all the video footage that was submitted by, I'm going to say, 100 a hundred or so people, if not more, submitted clips uh, for Lock Appreciation Day. And then tons of you uploaded videos as well, supporting Lock Appreciation Day. Um, we did a t-shirt, my eye keeps water, I'm sorry. We did a t-shirt logo contest and we had a winner uh, who was Quilly Kins at the time. I don't know if she changed her, I think she changed her YouTube name, but anyway, this was the logo. And these were available for purchase online. We put the logo on, I think, Zazzle. And uh, you could go in and pick whatever t-shirt color or style and put the logo on it. There were different variations of the logo. And everyone seemed pretty happy with it. We had some people that said, oh, we should have gotten more. Let's wait. But again, we had to work with what we had. Um, and then, again, some people did meetups. Some people did giveaways, which was great. Some people contributed to a large giveaway that I did on my channel um, for those who didn't want to host a giveaway. Fast forward to 2012, I had hoped that it would grow and get bigger. I don't know, it kind of fizzled a little bit for me, I think, in 2012. Um, the videos still came in. People still wanted to be part of the video collaboration, which I think was great. And uh, Dante86 actually solicited the help of some other YouTubers who had editing skills here on YouTube. And I think that helped it work out a little better, a little smoother. They met, they managed it. You know, he handled it, and I was grateful that he wanted to. 
Um, a blog had been created um, from the previous year into 2012, and Diva Desert Locks here on YouTube, I am forever again in her debt. She kept that blog updated. She was receiving information. Um, I was sending her information. We were staying in contact, and she kept the blog updated, so I didn't have to even really touch the blog hardly. And I'm so thankful to her. Um, and we also did a t-shirt uh, logo contest. Um, at that time, it was uh, Coily Kins who won the previous year. I had her to host it on her channel, but I did also talk about it on my channel just to make people aware that there was a logo contest. We got very few entries. And so I just was like, we're going with whatever we get. And those who are keeping up will vote, and that will be the logo. So the logo that was selected was this beautiful uh, picture here. And while I thought it was beautiful, um, and other people really were excited to get their shirts, uh, what ended up happening is we got a little bit of feedback about how it wasn't unisex enough, and uh, that you know maybe we needed to go back to the drawing board and pick another logo and all this madness. Um, but again, like I had stated, whatever was selected was selected because we didn't get a lot of entries to begin with. Not enough people were chiming in to begin with. And once the winner was announced, that was it. Um, so that was a kind of a headache and an unpleasant experience for me. Um, because my thing is, you know, we live in a, a society here in the U.S. anyway. You know, you, you vote and hopefully your vote matters. We like to feel that our vote matters. So those who voted... Their vote mattered, and that was the shirt that was selected. Um, so that was like a little bit of drama. It was. And so going into 2013 and asking, are we going to do Lock Appreciation Day again this year? Um, at best right now, I'm willing to say, let's do a collaboration video if Dante86 is willing to you know, organize and, and, and get people to help edit. Um, I'm not sure about t-shirts this year just because it was such a headache last year. But if we do a t-shirt logo contest, um, these t-shirts have to be available prior to June 25th uh, for people to purchase. And um, if we don't get but one entry, and that's the one that, you know, that's the one that's going on shirts. You, you can choose to buy a shirt or not buy a shirt, and that's the thing I told people last year. You don't have to buy a shirt to be a part of Lock Appreciation Day. It's just an option. Um, what else? Oh, and I would need someone who wants to update the blog. I don't know if Diva Desert Lock, she has a lot going on right now uh, with family and work, and she also has her own business. But if she's willing to do it, I would love to work with her again because she was absolutely amazing. Um, but if someone else is also interested in keeping up with our blog, which is lockappreciationday.blogspot.com, that would be a great place for you to go to kind of educate yourself on what previously happened for Lock Appreciation Day 2011 and 2012. Um... But yeah, I guess I'm just posting this video to say, let me know what you think. Should we do it? It's June. It'll be June 25th this year if we do it. And that's a very short window of time. We have April, May, and June. The t-shirt design needs to be done no later than, I'd say, the end of May. Like, contest done, hosted, and posted to either Zazzle or whatever site we choose to use to post um, logos. Um, for, for people to order their t-shirts so they can have it by June 25th. So let me know. Again, as you can see in this video, my energy about this is not as excited as it's been in the past. But the fact that a few people asked, um, I was really excited that, you know, some people were wanting to know, are we going to do it again? So that makes me feel kind of good. It makes me sort of feel excited about it. But let me know what you think. Um, we need to get started, like, ASAP. Um... Again, if Dante, if you're watching this, if you're willing to manage the video piece again, I would really, really appreciate that. You, if the same people who edited it last year want to help, or if you want to uh, solicit for a new group of people to get that exposure, that would be great. Um, Diva Desert Lots, if you're watching, please, if you're interested in working on the blog, let me know. If not, if there's other people that are interested in also helping with the blog, because we could have, you know, maybe more than one contributor uh, to blog stuff or organizing the blog and then one person actually post it onto the blog, um, let me know. And um, 
t-shirt logos. I, we have so many creative, artistic people out there. It was just, it's always kind of disheartening when I see we only get like a few entries for the t-shirt logo. But I, I don't know. Maybe I'll try my hand at creating something. But yeah, guys. So uh, let me know. Let me know. Lock Appreciation Day 2013. It's not too late. It would be June 25th this year. So let me know. All right, guys. Bye.